Hey guys, it's Smallies. What's up? You know, it's getting winter time. Kind of getting bored in the house, so thought I'd make a little rod and reel arsenal. This is before Christmas. Gonna look a little different after Christmas. And uh, I should be getting a camera, which is good news. So uh, you know, I can start filming the little, the little tournaments I do in my little club. So. Uh, here, I'm going to start off with the f first one. It's a new one I got. Um, it's a sh um, Shimano Corrado 200G6. It's a little bit bigger than the 200E7. But I wanted it so... I wanted it a Corrado so bad, they didn't have the 200E7. So it's got 200G6. Um, it's pretty much the same. A little bit, a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm just fine. This kind of like my little my swim bait rod. Kind of a medium heavy rod. 7 foot... Um, Seven foot Fluger Summit. Um, pretty nice little rod. It's an older rod. I mean, most of these rods are from my dad, and he fish tournament. So they just because they, they don't have the split grip or whatever. It still means they're awesome rods. So yeah, that's kind of like the newest one. Got a little uh, um Copper's Live Target swim bait. Really good. I think that's a four inch or three and a half inch or something. Here's one that I just bought. Um, last week, it's a, um, Daiwa Jupiter, Daiwa Jupiter, um, I just kind of got an older reel, Abby Garcia Silver Max, not a very good reel, I'm hoping to get a new one for it, so, and I got just new, some 12 pound tests, it's kind of a, another medium heavy rod, I guess good for finesse jigs and, you know, spinner bait if I need to throw it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Pretty pretty nice rod. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. Cause I just got it, and so here's the um. He, you know what? Here we go. Here's the next rod. It's a um. Kind of a lower grade rod. Um, Abby Garcia Black Max. You know, so so rod. You know, you get what you. You can only get so much much for about forty dollars. Is what I got it for. I got a Berkeley or a Lightning Rod, you know, thirty dollar rod. It's pretty good for its price. Um pretty strong. I mean I mean Berkeley I mean lightning rods are always good. I mean like after like the first five minutes like that thing came off of fishing. I buy these like lower grade rods for fishing in salt water for like redfish and flounder and stuff. So that way, you know, if I get if it gets in the salt water it doesn't get completely ruined. I don't have a total loss of money in here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is a um um a Daiwa Excelsior. Uh, combo is about eighty dollars. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a little a little uh, Lucky Strike um spinner bait on there. Um, it's a pretty good rod for its money, like I say with pretty much everything. It's a little bit older rod, doesn't have split grip. Uh the reel's pretty nice. I got like I got fourteen pound test floor or um just regular mono on there. See so, yeah, it's been working pretty good. So I'll put that down. Here's a uh here's one of my, my favorite little crankbait rod. Um got a Abby Garcia Pro Max, which is the best out of the Max family. I got a little cotton cordel, cotton cordel, cheap little rattle trap on there. Um, pretty good, two dollars, nice rattle trap. Um, and then I got the cranking stick here, by Bass Pro Shops. Uh, six eight, really sensitive. You can throw little top waters and stuff, little spinner baits on it too. Um, and then uh, moving on to, uh, hold on, my uh, one of my spinning rods. Another lightning, lightning shock, um, with a sh a old Shimano Sahara on it, a uh, Sonora, sorry, um, like 10 pound test, the big game on it, I actually did buy this for saltwater fishing, and see I haven't used it since the summer, I'm also fishing for redfish, little rebel popper on there, and then here's a nicer uh, rod that's actually a saltwater rod, um, but I use it for everything, a Shimano Soar 
so Joran. You know what? Pretty stupid. So I don't know what that says. But anyway, it's kind of got like a cheaper reel in case the salt water gets on it. I think it was thirty dollars at Walmart. It's pretty nice. I mean, Shimano makes good stuff. It's a Shimano Sienna. Uh, two two thousand. What? Yeah, two thousand five hundred. Pretty good rod. Pretty sensitive. Caught. I caught a like a fifteen pound tarpon on that, and the Pamlico sound while I was flounder fishing, and. Here we go, last little rod here. Um, this is a uh, a rod that I just got. It was thirty dollars combo. Really, I mean, it's really like a piece of crap, you know. I don't really like two piece rods in general, as you can see. Um, the reel has really wide spool, so I did get this one for saltwater too. But I do use it for like catfishing. Like, I don't use any of the good stuff for catfishing, that's for sure. In the mud getting messed up. And here, I have, I got a check for $200 and went to Walmart. And this is what I got. Two whole bags of fishing, bass fishing stuff, so I'm going to go through some of it. And I got pretty much the cheapest stuff they had that I knew would work. Just dump that out. Um... Start off a little the new KBD one. I mean, not new, but KBD one point five. Um, got that same little spinner bait in green color. The Arky Bass Jig is an old one, but it was only it was only like eighty five cents. Everything was on clearance, and my dad was with me, and he was kind of coaching me on what to get. And he said this is a good finesse jig, <clears throat> or swim jig or whatever. I got some of these power baits, swim baits for fall and spring. They're really good. I mean, it was only one dollar for all those. I couldn't believe it. Of course, I just got some jig heads and got some original just culprit worms, yum dingers, good. Um, a little drop shot worms. Uh, um, the original rattle trap. Got a couple of those. Another one. A lot of them. And here I got a little foot, the Lucky Strike football jig. Uh, I got a couple of them, but I think they're in another bag or whatever. Got a big, big pack of uh, big pack of um, offset hooks, some shaky heads, good for stuff. Um, more jig heads, uh, whatever that is. Jig heads, some uh, big frog hooks, another spinner bait. Another spinner, right? Another spinner, right? And I just a bomber, whatever, bomber square, um, bomber B. Uh, more, uh, more jigs, Archie jigs. Another Archie jig. Um, that's, that's that bag. Oh man, a little redfish spinner, but I don't know why I had that on. I think I ran out of stuff. So. Other bag, some more soft plastic, zoom, six inch lizard, black, I mean, watermelon, finesse worm, not more uh, lucky strike, uh, lucky strike, um, twirl twirl little finesse worms, oh, watermelon seed, uh, lizard, a strike king, a strike king jig, another Archie Bass jig. Uh, the good old June bug color. Got some line for, uh, a little crappie line there. Some eight more, just cheap line. Some catfish line. I got, I got, like, the good bass line, like, in my, all down there, all that stuff. Uh, oh. Here's some, uh, just some live targets that I got from my friend. Gave me this huge bag. I mean, most of them were too big for bass, but I'm sure they were for stripers and stuff. Then I got all these frogs, too, and and I really don't know about them. I'm going to set the camera down for a second. 